All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I've got five coppers, and we're going to put them up against these five diamonds that you see right now. The catch is the diamonds have permadeath enabled, so if they die, they're dead for the whole game. So make sure you guys like this video if you enjoy, and let's see who's going to win this. Do the coppers have it in them? All right, so it looks like our copper players right now are trying to make their way over by master. We see Ace trying to open up that master window right now. Zia is just held up on big tower trying to look into kids and it looks like we're going to see some form of maybe an attic and big tower push here coming from the coppers but they are a little bit spread out we see dimitri solo pushing up the white stairs and oh no span gonna get an easy kill on dimitri first copper going down and well you could just see the diamonds here are ready to play and well they are not wanting to die if they die they are going to completely be out of this game so they're going to be doing their best to stay alive right now Zia trying to do the best that they can to stay alive as they're down to 1 HP now. A minute and 25 seconds left on the clock for the Copper players. And, well, we're going to see Mel on Rook take out Ghost. So another Copper player falls. And you've still got Zia on low HP who's going to gone 6 into the big tower and immediately hop out seeing as there's a reinforcement stopping them from pushing in. FT pieces doing what they can to try to push into Attic right now. But Wheelchair actually going to... Be taking a ton of HP all the way back inside of Attic. But fortunately for him, Sin is on this dock. And he'll be able to stem him back up to full HP. Can't say the same for Zia, who's downed outside of the Attic window. While Wheelchair, on his new HP, going to be taking out FT pieces. The Ace going down and a C4 coming out. Possibly taking out Zaya on that down position. And wow, a great shot from Wheelchair. Going to take out Zofia all the way inside of Master Bedroom. Great shots from the Diamond players in round number one. All good for the Diamonds. But listen, if any of them die this next round, it's going to get progressively harder. So let's see what happens in round number two. Spawn Peak from Wheelchair might catch one of these Copper players off guard. We do see Zaya running straight underneath the window of Armory there. But unfortunately for Wheelchair... The Dokubi will not walk within view of the window. Ghost now going to be sledging open the front door. And Wheelchair, hearing that, going to turn around from that armory window and try to defend against the front door now. So I'm going to be rotating over to the classroom window. And it looks like we might see sort of a split take here. we got a few people pushing over by the west side. But we also have a very main lobby focused push here. Dimitri coming in from the west side. Trying to open the freezer door and oh boy going to almost do a little bit of damage onto ft pieces the only hard breach here for the copper team two minutes left and you can see the diamonds are for the most part being very patient here on site don't could be calls they're going to come out now from zaya and we're going to see three members from the copper team rotate down the freezer stairs but there's a ton of eyes looking this way from the diamond team so they're going to be careful about how they choose to push this. A vault up from the Dokubi is going to result in a little bit of damage being taken as FT also takes some shots. And all right now, we're actually going to see Wheelchair all the way top white, possibly going to rotate down the top white stairs and hit a flank on our two players pushing inside of Freezer here. Verdi throwing as many smokes into here as he can. And a team kill is going to come out that will take out Zaya. And Verdi's going to have to be careful. As remember, if he dies here from the Habana who's swinging the back stairs, he is dead for the rest of the game. The smoke grenade will come out and take out Dimitri, though. But Ghost actually going to get a kill onto Sin. And that means Sin needs to leave. GG. Sin is dead for the rest of the game. And same for Mel now as he'll also get taken out. FT Peace is going to get refried from Wheelchair who flanks down from the top white freezer stairs though. Three members left for the Diamond team as now it's going to look like they'll be in a 5v3 for the next round. But this round's what matters. Ghost pushing up on the front door right now or the front side of the site. Unhinged going to be trying to rotate towards Freezer as Verdi is going to be holding this door and the diffuser with his shotgun now a swing comes out and wheelchair will take out ghost verdi swings gets a little bit of damage onto unhinged who's about on one hp now 35 seconds left and well verdi's really just got to hold these stairs with the shotgun unhinged has pretty much no options unhinged trying to rush down the freezer stairs now and well verdi's still holding down the stairs and a pre-fire will come out which will take him out and the diamonds winning another round but ladies and gentlemen just because they won does not mean much of anything right now. As, as you can see, the permadeath has kicked in. And, well, 
two of the diamond players are gone. So this video just turned it from a 5v5 to a 3v5. All right, with just three members here to defend, the diamond players are going to be doing their best against our five coppers. And Wheelchair is once again trying to start it off with a spawn peak, which he will be unsuccessful at as all of the copper players manage to dodge it. Wheelchair, though, not wanting to give up, and it looks like Zaya is maybe trying to scan these footprints. If he walks too close, he could get taken out from Wheelchair here, though. That looks like that might be exactly what's going to happen here at Team Kill, while Ghost will take himself out somehow, leaving this to a 3v3, as I believe Ghost accidentally Team Killed with RFF on. Wheelchair pushing up in the garage now, trying to take out the Iana outside front door, and he'll do just that. FT pieces falling now. That's going to leave unhinged alone outside of front door out of the classroom window with Dimitri upstairs droning the master slash trophy area right now. The other diamond players holding down the site, making sure that no one can push in, really letting wheelchair just completely frag out right now. Unhinged going to fall off of the classroom window, opting instead to try to get the diffuser and possibly push above with his teammate Dimitri, who is droning out the top floor and seeing that Verdi is playing above. Unhinged though. Choosing to push front door still, and he's going to take a lot of damage for that. Wheelchair doing what he can to defend against Unhinged. Dimitri now taking things into his own hands, trying to push above solo. Unhinged going to run into Garage with an aggressive God 6, but Wheelchair is there to take him out, and that's going to be the Diffuser dropped inside of Garage. Dimitri popping off some cluster charges into Master Side, but he's going to be trying to get at least one frag here to help his team in the next round, and... Ooh, he's narrowly going to miss it here as Verdi with some whiff shots will eventually take him out. And that's three rounds now for the Diamonds. But we're going to be switching sides, so the Diamonds will now be on attack. All right, will only three Diamonds be enough to take out five Coppers? They're going to be on attack now, so things won't be as easy as it just was on defense. Everybody knows that defense is just a little bit easier on most maps in Siege, but on attack... Things are going to be different. So let's see how these diamond players handle this attack. Already we see some rat spots. Dimitri inside a master. Prone behind the bed with a shotgun. And this could be problematic as... Oh no, the drone is going to see him. And Dimitri is going to be forced to rotate off of that. And FT pieces trying to reinvent the meta with some prone holes inside of the attic wall. I'm not too sure what those are for. But Verdi is going to be doing his best to take care of it. As he takes out FT pieces in retaliation. Wheelchair going to be aggressively trying to take Master Slash Trophy as he's going to get Elamind. Span trying to drone out below, possibly up these stairs to try to give some more information for him and his team. They will be able to get this wall open if they can handle the Cade that Ghost has put on the wall. Already now rotating off of the big tower take, opting instead to push towards Highway. Oyo's going off in sight and things are a little bit chaotic, but the defense still has time and the wall is not open just yet. A minute and 25 seconds left on the clock. So the diamonds are slowly but surely running out of time. A grenade is going to come out and this could be problematic for Unhinged as, oh no, the shield will save his life, but he's on about 1 HP and somehow he's able to escape all the way to the back tower. I'm not sure how he does it, but finally he'll get downed and I'm not sure if Wheelchair knows this or not, but they will no longer have to deal with the Echo. But Dimitri is going to be trying to swing and push into Trophy right now. He's got the pistol in hand. Remember, he does have that shotgun as a primary. And right now, Zia is flanking up the Trophy stairs. This could be so problematic for the Diamond players right now, as I'm not sure anyone knows. Oh no, Span does. He was waiting for it, and he'll get a double kill onto both Goyo and Ella, leaving Unhinged downed in Ghost alone in a 1v3 on match point. Can he clutch it out for his team? C4 in hand. He's got the TCSG. Here comes Span, though, with the quick peeks. He's going to walk straight into sight. And, well, there's the shots. And Wheelchair will finally pick up that down kill and unhinged. And, ladies and gentlemen, GG's. The Diamonds take it flawlessly on map number one. But will they for map number two? I'm not quite sure. All right. Welcome to Border here. We've got the Diamonds starting on attack this time. Trying to switch it up just a little bit. See if the Coppers can't maybe... Get a couple more kills a little bit earlier on. See if they maybe even can win this game. We'll see what happens. But two and a half minutes left on the clock. And it looks like our diamond players are going to be trying to do a classic armory take right now. They are going to have to deal with Zia who is on the wall. Bandit tricking however. 
But that shouldn't be too big of a problem for these diamond players as they do have two grenades. And I'm sure they've got flash grenades. Yep, they do here on Nomad. Trom right now actually trying to flank CCTV. Trom is a new copper player to the team, by the way. So welcome, Trom. Trom. One of our other copper players had to leave. So he is substituting in. Shout out to Trom. Speaking of our copper players, though, FT Pieces is going to take a lot of damage trying to throw one of these smoke grenades onto the armory door. And, well, the Habana pellets are going down, but Zia is placing down the bandit charge at the same time. And a quick peek will come out from Zia, if you want to call it that. But Mel will take them out, and that's going to be the first kill for the diamonds onto the copper players. But listen, remember, this is permadeath. Span's going to have to be very careful. He's on about half of his HP left going to be very easy for him to die drones in sight they're going to know that two are by sandwich right now well, here comes the prone peak and well that just wasn't a good idea ft pieces goes down trom doing his best to try to defend against the site but here comes the reverse plant from mel and verdi running up to the metal stairs or actually the office door are going to get a kill onto dimitri of ella unhinged inside of archives this could be the kill that the coppers need it is verdi goes down and that's one less diamond player next round that these copper players have to deal with. Trom trying to add to the list. We're gonna see wheelchair pushing up into metal and that's a lot of damage onto Trom. If they could get this kill onto wheelchair, it would be huge as he has been the star player for the match so far. 20 seconds left on the diffuser, but honestly kills are probably a better thing for the coppers to go for at the moment. Osa just sitting behind the shield, not going to take any damage while lighting up Trom who's now down, leaving unhinged alone in a 1v4 and there comes the swing from mel the diffuser is down trom trying to revive himself with the rook armor but there's no time the diamonds clutch up for another round but remember one of them died so with that permadeath we're running into a 5v4 for the second round all right dimitri hoping that this castle strat inside of cctv is going to be the thing that they need to take out some more of these diamond players here because honestly if you think about it the copper's goal really isn't even to win the first couple rounds it's really to just get a couple kills so that they're able to make the next few rounds very very achievable so any small mistakes here made from the diamond players are going to greatly cost them two and a half minutes left and we're going to see the same sort of attack from the diamonds once again we do have zia banded tricking but there still are these grenades coming out from wheelchair. So we're going to see if they use these, which so far they're not. And that's going to allow Zia to just continuously bandit trick. Not a good idea to not try to take out this castle and take care of the bandit bandit tricking first. Speaking of which, he's finally going to get taken out through the Habana hole that was made. And well, Mel's going to pick up another kill in the Trom. So it's not looking good for the coppers already as it is a 4v3. FT pieces and unhinged trying to hold down fountain together but no one is even there dimitri afk inside of small sitting on a soft wall he's surely going to get wall banked any second as the site door was just opened FT pieces not even losing the gunfight just full-on dc'ing how unfortunate hopefully he's able to join back here but we're gonna see unhinged flanking right now and oh no this could be a kill but it's not going to be as he whiffs it was almost a kill on the most influential player in the diamond squad wheelchair being brought down to 40 hp dimitri left in the 1v4 can he clutch it out wheelchair is lit span is trying to walk in for this plant and if he reverse plants this could be a free kill for dimitri right now he hears it going off here comes the swing with the bait the plant was just a bait and mel runs straight in through archives and takes the final kill oh boy O2 now for the coppers Spompy coming out from ft pieces here onto the buck and it will win sin getting taken out gg for you unfortunate ft pieces our copper player running away from that with just a couple hp right now i'm actually very impressed with that spawn peak. Wheelchair now just outside of front door, trying to do what he can, narrowly missing that one tap onto Trom, the Thunderbird just inside of server room right now. Dimitri trying to find some form of an angle above the Izami trap while in ventilation, but he's gonna have to be careful of this window as we see wheelchair just near outside of it. Mel now pushing into bathroom, possibly gonna be trying to open up this bathroom wall looking into sight. Span all the way upstairs right now, going to be pushing above and possibly meeting up with his teammate. 
right now we're gonna see trom trying to swing into lobby we're going to be taking a lot of hp for that down to about half hp but fortunately for him the thunderbirds will heal him just back up ft pieces holding down customs right now while trom gets another health Oh boy, we're at sort of a standstill now, but Mel looks to change that as he's going to be opening up this reach here. But an impact grenade coming out from Zyra is going to slow this a little bit and mess up the breach. But Wheelchair finally able to get that kill all the way from outside the front door. Dimitri goes down and oh no, Zyra is going to get a kill onto Ace. Bye bye, there goes your hard breach player. Next round is going to be a 2v5. Is Span and Wheelchair going to be able to take them all out? The breach is messed up, but Span wants to swing it anyways. This is just where his teammate died. Wheelchair, sitting outside front door, gets another kill into FT pieces. That's the 1 HP player coming down. Oh no! Another kill coming out from the Copper players. That's Span going down, and Wheelchair, the best performing Diamond player of the night here so far. Is he going to be able to clutch this up, at least this round? 1v3. Zaya is lit right now, but will it be enough? Trom is inside of Supply Room. Pre-firing outside the window. Wheelchair is just waiting. 30 seconds left, though, so he doesn't have much time to wait. The down is going to come out, and a C4 from Unhinged will miss while Zaya rotates back down to site to try to get healed up, but it won't matter. The headshot comes out from Wheelchair, and now it's a 1v1. The wheelchair clutch this out and at least get one round under his belt here. 10 seconds left. Unhinged sitting outside. Sitting outside holding the site. Through the window, that's some stuff you don't see every day. An ace coming out for wheelchair, great shots by him. But ladies and gentlemen, he is now in a 1v5. All on defense, all by himself. Can he do it? If you guys have made it this far in the video, consider liking. Make sure you guys are subscribed as I plan on posting more videos like this one soon. And if you're already subscribed, you guys have already liked the video, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm and make sure you guys have those post notifications turned on so that you don't miss another upload like this one. But let's see it, man. Let's see if Wheelchair is going to be able to clutch this 1v5. They are only five coppers. It, it's definitely very possible. Defender. Unhinged is pinging this East door and he's playing Monty. Looks like we might see some form of a rush coming out here. We've got Zaya on the Dokubi right now. Poor wheelchair just sitting outside on this balcony waiting to see if he can get some form of a spawn peak, but it's not going to happen for him. And oh no, it sounds like the rush is starting. The Dokubi calls all that they need to get this rush started. Trom outside of the breach just waiting to get the wall up and there's no sort of denial as well. Wheelchair doesn't have anything to use for the wall. FT piece is going to get blown to shreds though, or maybe pieces as the C4 comes out from wheelchair. Unhinged now opening up this east door into archives and while well, the main breach has been open, Dimitri trying to follow behind and stop this plant right now. Wheelchair, can you do it? The Monty shield was blocking all of the ammo. Dimitri trying to push into archives with his teammate now. He's going to hop over. This is about to get chaotic. One kill for wheelchair. Can he get another? The swing comes out. He can't. Dimitri takes him out. And ladies and gentlemen, the coppers, they're too good. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. It looks like five coppers definitely can beat five diamonds with permadeath. Let me know what other challenges you guys would like to see down below in the comment section. And listen, if you guys are copper yourself, you guys need a good five stack. You're tired of ranked. You want to play with myself or other content creators? Consider joining Six Shot Academy. The link will be down below in the description. It's the biggest siege community resource that I created with a lot of other content creators. So if you guys are interested in any of that, the link will be down below. Make sure you guys follow me on all of the platforms. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.